Today in Photoshop, I'm going to be showing you how to use a new feature that allows you to copy layer styles as CSS3 styling. First, we need to make some kind of shape on the stage. I will be dragging out a circle to act as a web icon. Next, double click on the name of the layer and rename it. The name that you give this layer will correspond with a class in your HTML page. I will be calling mine Photoshop underscore CSS. Next, we need to add some layer styles to this layer. Double click on the layer to open up the layer styles window. First, I'm going to add a simple gradient overlay to the circle. I'll select the colors and choose white for one side and light gray for the other. Next, we can add on a stroke. I'm going to make mine about 10 pixels and then change the color to a light blue. Lastly, to pull our icon off of the background, add on a slight drop shadow. I will be using a color of black with an opacity of 50%, a distance of about 15 pixels, a spread of about 15%, and a size of about 15 pixels. When you are done applying layer styles, click OK. Now that we are done with the simple base of our icon, we can copy the styles for CSS in one of two ways. Select your layer and then either go up to Layer and down to Copy CSS, or right click on the layer and go to Copy CSS. The CSS for this layer is now copied to your clipboard. You can now paste it in any coding program you like. I will be using Adobe Dreamweaver. I already have a simple HTML and CSS page that are linked together. I also created a div tag with a class that matches the name of our layer in Photoshop. This div will become our Photoshop shape. Flip over to the attached CSS page and paste in the contents from Photoshop. Again, notice that the class name is the same as the div that I created and the name of the layer in Photoshop. To avoid the positioning from Photoshop, feel free to delete out the position, left, and top properties. Now the process is as simple as saving and testing in Chrome. You will see that Photoshop did a decent job of converting the styles to CSS with the exception of the drop shadow. Other styles such as Interglow also have issues transferring to CSS at this time. If you want, you can fix this with a little CSS knowledge. On line 8, I will change the first and second pixel values to 5, the third to 15, and delete the last. Then add an A on the end of RGB. Then inside of the parentheses, put a comma and then a percent value as a decimal for the drop shadow opacity. I will use 40. This adds a transparency value to the drop shadow. After that, save your document. Now if we refresh our browser, you can see that the CSS very closely matches our Photoshop document. While this new feature has not been perfected yet, this still saves a lot of time and does place in multiple browser capability. Feel free to give it a try and see what you think. As always, if you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.